So ByteDance just dropped Trey Agent, and it's not just another chatbot or coding assistant. This thing reads real tasks in plain language, takes full control of your system, and starts working like it actually understands what you mean. It can search through massive projects, make changes, run checks, and report back, all without a single click. It's open source, runs straight from your terminal, and feels less like using a tool and more like activating an autonomous worker that doesn't need supervision. And the wild part? It's all out there on GitHub, ready for anyone to test, break, or build on. The secret to that smooth workflow is a mix of carefully chosen parts working together. First, Trey Agent always knows how to poke around your project thanks to an editing tool that can open, create, or rewrite any file it sees. That might sound obvious, yet plenty of older AI tools trip over file paths or crash when they hit read-only folders. Trey's editor keeps track of everything and never loses its place. While that editor handles files, a built-in bash shell lets the agent run real commands just like a human developer would, compiling code, installing dependencies, or running a test suite. Every line of output comes back in real time so you can spot warnings or errors without waiting for a huge dump at the end. Trey's real edge shows up when the job gets tricky. A small reasoning engine inside the agent breaks a problem into steps, sets up quick checks, and loops until the plan works. In other words, it does the patient repetitive thinking that usually eats up a developer's afternoon. To speed up that process, Trey builds its own map of the entire code base. Classes, functions, files, all connected like streets on a city grid. So instead of searching line by line, it hops straight to the place that matters. Whether that is a forgotten configuration flag or a three-year-old helper function, no one remembers writing. While the agent churns through tasks, another lightweight model called Lakeview keeps you posted. Lakeview watches every action, then writes a one-sentence summary in plain English, no jargon, no thousand-token wall of text. That running commentary makes it easy to follow along, even if you have not touched the project in months. And because Trey supports several AI providers, including OpenAI's GPT-4.0, Anthropic's Claude family, Google's Gemini Pro, and others, you can pick the model that fits your budget or latency needs. Switching is as simple as adding two flags to the command, so if one service hits a rate cap, you can reroute the job without rewriting anything. Getting started does not require a DevOps playbook. Clone the repository, run a single setup command, drop your API keys into either a JSON file or environment variables, and you are good to go. The default settings work fine for most tests, yet everything is configurable on the command line. Want more creative code suggestions? Bump the temperature setting. Need longer responses? Raise the token limit. Tray lists exactly where each setting comes from, flags beat config files, config beats environment variables, and defaults trail behind, so there is never any confusion about which number is in play. If you prefer a back and forth chat instead of one-off commands, an interactive mode is built in. Launch it, set a step limit if you like, then type goals one at a time while the agent responds. You can pause to inspect its latest change, ask questions, or redirect its focus to another part of the project. It feels less like scripting a tool and more like mentoring a junior developer who happens to be lightning fast. Trey Agent is still labeled alpha, which means its code base changes almost daily. Yet, that has not stopped it from topping a respected benchmark called SWE Bench Verified. In that test, real bugs from public GitHub projects are recreated automatically. The agent must patch the code and run the full test suite without human hints. Trey scores well because its reasoning engine forces every plan to be explicit. It outlines what needs fixing, tries a quick solution, checks whether the tests pass, and only moves on when the goal is met. That loop is the same habit seasoned engineers learn over years of practice. Trey just compresses it in two seconds. For people less interested in test scores and more in day-to-day -day impact, think about a late-night production bug. Normally, you would scroll through logs, track down the faulty commit, push a fix, and wait for CI to build again. Trey can shoulder most of that drudgery. It reproduces the error, pinpoints the bad code, drafts a patch, runs the pipeline, and hands you the finished pull request. All you do is read the diff and click Approve. Over time, that speed difference turns into real money saved on developer hours and fewer headaches for on-call teams. ByteDance is not launching Trey Agent in a vacuum. 
the company has quietly shifted focus from consumer entertainment to productivity platforms. Their larger project, an AI-native development environment simply called Tray, wraps the agent in a slick interface powered by Visual Studio Code under the hood. That full IDE offers free access to models that other products charge monthly fees to unlock, hoping a generous entry point will draw a large community. Market researchers predict global AI spending will quadruple between 2022 and 2027, so capturing developers early is a smart long-term play. Competition is fierce. GitHub Copilot beams suggestions straight into editors, and newer apps like Cursor promise blazing speed. Trey answers by offering transparency. Every prompt, response, and tool call can be logged into a trajectory file with timestamps and token counts. Security teams like that because they can audit exactly what the agent changed. Researchers like it because they can compare how two different model versions attack the same problem. And instructors can use those logs as teaching material, walking students through a real debugging journey step by step. The configuration system splits each provider into clear sections listing model names, token budgets, and retry limits. By editing a single file, you can move from a smaller, cheaper model during early exploration to a larger, more capable one when it is time to merge the final fix. Lakeview can even run on a different provider than the main reasoning engine, so you might let Claude write summaries while GPT-4.0 does the heavy lifting on code. Troubleshooting remains straightforward. If Python complains about missing imports, adding the project root to Python path solves it. If an API key is wrong, a built-in show config command highlights the problem. Permission errors disappear once you run the shell under an account that owns the files in question. Those details are boring, but they keep new users from giving up after three tries. Because Tray operates through a terminal, it also fits cleanly into cloud workstations or headless servers. That flexibility matters for global teams working across time zones. One engineer can kick off a refactor before signing off for the night, and another team member can review the completed pull request over breakfast. No heavyweight GUI needed. ByteDance thanks Anthropic for a starter project that inspired some of Trey's internal tooling, underscoring how collaborative the AI world has become. Even direct rivals share techniques, knowing that open blueprints lift all boats. Trey's MIT license matches that mindset, allowing commercial use and private forks without legal tangles. The long-term roadmap includes support for additional language models, tighter integration with continuous delivery pipelines, and a beefier testing harness so the agent's own code stays rock solid. The team also hints at adopting model context protocol, a standard that would let Trey exchange context slices with other agents. If that lands, you can imagine Trey working with a documentation bot or a security scanner, each sharing relevant details without sending entire code bases back and forth. After spending time with Trey Agent, it becomes clear why ByteDance released it now. TikTok proved the company can capture mainstream attention, yet an autonomous coding partner shows it can also solve harder, more technical problems by giving developers a clear, trustworthy bridge between human intent and machine execution. ByteDance hopes to shape how future software is written. For everyone else, the takeaway is simple. If you have ever wrestled with a late night bug or wished repetitive coding chores would handle themselves, Trey Agent is worth a serious look. That wraps the breakdown of ByteDance's new coding companion. Feel free to share your thoughts, hit subscribe for more deep dives. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.